Hey, look, we're back. And we are back with 1110. So let's talk about something going on in the entertainment industry, because I think in the video game industry, well, I mean, there was, the, there was an award show recently where Ben Starr, the voice of Clive in Final Fantasy XVI, had like a very heartfelt speech, but eh. um, entertainment industry. So it has recently come out that Warner Brothers had a Wile E. Coyote um, Roadrunner movie with like a lot of big names like your John Cena's, your Rocks, and it was finished. It was done. All the recording was done. All the visuals were done. Everything was done. And it got thrown away with no plans of it being sold to even another pu a publisher of it because tax write-off. Sure do love capitalism, man. Obviously, I don't know all those pieces and situations that cause things like this to happen, but it's just like, so you're telling me you have, you put in all this work, all this time, all this effort, and you're just chucking it in the garbage because you make more that way or something? Ugh. I hate capitalism sometimes, man. I hate it so much. Either way, we are going to play Power Intuition, Power Stone, to get us more guts. Okay. Start power intuition. Wait, the amount of time you. Oh, yes, I'll use a secret technique so I can get more time to do my inputs. Hey, so your first one is a kung fu master. His attacks are apparently pretty ruthless. You're both running low on health. You could probably win if you land a special move. Oh. Hey, the animal stunt. Use it now. Hadouken. Oh. All right, it's over. You won. Okay. Wow, you beat a level. You're amazing. It was incredible watching you go up against its opponent. Mm. That's still not enough. At least I can go for Sojuro again. Nice. Probably a good stopping point. Let's end it here for today. Ugh. Can I please, please, please get my guts up? Hi. Thank you. Down to 10%. Jesus. How low can you go? Hey. Alright, what do I got to read? Sky Tree. I already hey. know about that, though. All right. I think my last book is Flowerpedia. Hmm? The Unknown Language of Flowers. Nice. What about flowers? Me. Uh, useful for when you work the flowers job. So, never again? Oh. So you finished reading Flowerpedia. They'll cover all types of flowers and what they mean to people. Now, won't they be handy at your florist job? All right. Wow, man, if only I was gonna ever do that job ever again. Seriously, there's no point doing it again, man. Her yawning made me yawn. Why are you not, why are you looking at me like that? I'm not sleep deprived because I want to be, you know. Oh, I know why you're sleep deprived. My neighbor's been careless lately on garbage day. The crows were calling away this morning. Those trash nests the city makes us use only keep them away at the start. Crows are quick learners. On that note, do you know how the, to write the kanji for crow? The character for bird and crow look very similar. But the latter has one fewer line. What do you think of me, Asan? Isn't it easy to confuse bird? Do you know the, the answer? The character line for bro, bird has a line that the character for crow doesn't. It represents the eye, but do you know why it's missing the character for crow? The crow's eyes are hard to see. This is it. That's Way right. to go! R really? That's the literal reason why the kanji for crow d doesn't have that? Just because they're hard to see? Alright, Japan. Crows are black feathers, so of course it's hard to spot their black eyes. The crows actually have great vision. They can even see UV rays, apparently. No way. Nice going. By the way, one's reading for a different crow, Kanja, is got to imitate the sound of it calling. The character for pigeon is the same. It's based off the words bird's coo, leading to the coo pronunciation. Crows are pretty smart, so you better study enough so that you don't lose to them. <sighs> Epic foreshadowing. Crows are scary, let me tell you. When their eyes meet, they start flapping and uh. 
apparently bur crows were like have like li lifelong grudges like familiar grudges as well as familial ties hey. so if you're like nice to a crow hey. there'll be times where like a crow is nice to you through its entire lifeline kind of thing so makoto takimi i think makoto is probably our best bet for today right Wait, I can do Shinya? Oh, in that case, yeah, we're gonna do Shinya. I thought I had to actually do his confidant first. What's going on here? I should write something. Let me make sure I'm not wasting a day by doing this. Hey, hey son. Hey, what should I? No, 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 let's train. Sure. Huh? huh? What do you mean? Wait. Another what? calling card. Wait, is is this how his works? Look, it's been a while since I played Persona 5 last time, so I don't remember every single word detail. Hane Oda. My mom? mom? The Phantom Thieves are targeting my mom? So she is bad after all. No, she's not. Yeah. Thanks. My mom just isn't herself. She used to be so nice. Do you think they'll actually be able to change your heart? Believe in them. Yeah, you're right. They are the Phantom Thieves after all. So... Hey! Someone has to give this to my mom, right? Okay, I'll do it. Is it too much for you? I... It is kind of my fault that mom got this way. Don't, don't blame yourself. For any children out there, Whatever is happening to your parents, please don't blame yourselves. Do don't do that. That's that's just how to. You will end up burning yourself in the future if you just blame the, their things on you. Don't don't do that to yourselves, please. She had to deal with a lot raising me on her own. That's not your fault. She had to get stronger because I was weak. That's not how that works. That's not an excuse to hurt the people around her. She fights with everyone about everything and ends up getting hurt. They're sorry, my mom's gonna break. My mom will realize that she doesn't have to be strong for me anymore. But she won't listen to me when I tell her that. That's why I want to help the fan of these. I want to stop my mom. Let's say we're together then. Give me a son. Yeah. Okay, I'll give her the calling card. She's my mom after all. I really want to help her. <laughs> Next time you see the fan of these, please tell them I said thank you. Thanks for talking to, to them about this on me, son. I'm going to teach you my best, strongest move. Increase the damage inflicted by bullet hail. All right. So now, so previously bullet hail would knock 25% off of, of an enemies when you got to fight. Now it knocks 50% off. Hey, do me a favor. Don't tell anyone you saw me crying earlier, okay? I would never. Oh, well, that's kind of useless. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Later. Oh, and say out of fantasies for me. Later. Ah, you're back. I gave the call to my mom. It was a little scary. Could you let the fantasies know? Dead. Alright, what are my options for today? I can finally continue on with Sojuro. Is Sojuro my only option right now? Oh, oh yeah. And now I can actually max her out. Perfect. Alright. Let's ask Chihaya to raise up Shinya. Or be Sojuro. What shall we do? Let's do Sojuro just to play it safe. Here we 
go. And flip. What do you think? I think I need to get a hero phone. Hey, Is it hero phone or hero phone? It's probably hero phone. We've established I don't know how to speak words. I'm not sure why everyone's watching me just stumble over my words the entire time. Anyway. You certainly. These are the paths you have walked. There we go. A fee is with this is your pop. You left me. Are you finished? What? Yep. Deuces. No slacking off. Um, laundromat. Okay. Wrong one, but it's fine. As long as I'm actually just using the full four, that's all that really matters. Hi. And switch over to it. Again, it doesn't really matter, but it's just for my own mental well-being. All right, and with that, we reach a pretty good stopping point. So, when we return, we're gonna hang out with Sojuro and get him to level what? Seven, perfect. Either way, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. But for right now, I am out. Later.